Good happy Saturday evening. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this Saturday evening edition of the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. We have a lot of news to get to this Saturday evening, so let's get started right now. First up, volunteers search wooded area in Manchester for clues in Harmony Montgomery's disappearance. The search for missing seven-year-old Harmony Montgomery continued Saturday morning. Nearly a dozen volunteers gathered at a local park in Manchester on Saturday to search a nearby wooded area for missing seven-year-old Harmony Montgomery. The group was made up of family and friends of Harmony, as well as total strangers. Some traveled from other states to help in the search for clues that could lead to Harmony's whereabouts. Organizers said Harmony's father, Adam Montgomery, was known to sleep in his car near the Haverhill Street location. Adam Montgomery is currently being held in jail after he was indicted by a grand jury last month on a charge of second-degree assault for allegedly hitting Harmony in the face sometime between July 1st and 22nd of 2019. Adam Montgomery is not facing charges directly connected to Harmony's disappearance. The Manchester Police Department told News 9 there is no new updates in Harmony's case, but added it remains the department's top priority. A reward for information leading to Harmony's whereabouts of Harmony Montgomery now sits at 150,000. Anyone with information can call or text the Manchester Police Department's directed tip line at 603-203-6060. State police investigating shooting that injured 79-year-old in Chester. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. Home is where life happens, and good housekeeping is where you get everything you need to bring your home to life. From science fact product reviews, to triple tested recipes, to genius organizing hacks, it's a whole world of possibility, all tested for you. We do have breaking news on a story that we have been covering all morning long. A 79-year-old man is in stable condition at the hospital following a shooting in Chester. According to state police, local officers found a home on Old Chester Turnpike had been struck with gunfire around 11 o'clock last night. Authorities say there are no suspects in custody at this time, but this investigation is active and ongoing. They are asking for the public's help this morning. Investigators want to see home surveillance video from residents in the area, specifically any video of suspicious activity between 1030 and 1130 last night. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Some Republicans publicly criticizing Cawthron after podcast remarks. Let's take a listen to that video from ABC News. You know, you got to get your items from point A to point B. There is no time. Turn now to Capitol Hill, where Congressman Madison Cawthorn is responding to the backlash he's received after making some really explosive claims about fellow members of Congress. ABC's congressional correspondent Rachel Scott takes a look at what Republicans are saying right now. 
This morning, Republican Congressman Madison Cawthorn under fire from members in his own party after presumably linking GOP lawmakers to sex parties and cocaine. Then all of a sudden you get invited to, like, oh, hey, we're going to have kind of a, a, a sexual get-together at one of our homes. You should come. And I'm like, what, what did you just ask me to come to? Yeah. And then you realize they're asking you to come to an orgy. Yeah. Uh, or, or the fact that, you know, there's some of the people that are leading on the movement to try and remove, you know, addiction in our country. And then you watch them do, you know, a key bump of cocaine right in front of you. And it's like, wow, this is, this is wild. Cawthorn is the youngest member of Congress, seen as a rising star in the party. A loyal Trump supporter who spoke at that rally on January 6th. My friends, I will tell you right now that there is a new Republican Party rising. But now Republicans say he has crossed the line. House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy summoned Cawthorn to his office to tell him his comments were unacceptable. He's lost my trust. He's going to have to earn it back. He's got a lot of members very upset. McCarthy telling reporters Cawthorn had no evidence and did not tell the truth. Sources say Cawthorn was asked to publicly apologize. Overnight, he claimed his comments were taken out of context. Congressman Nelson, what did you make of those comments? Well, irresponsible. Irresponsible. But all of it has left his Republican colleagues on Capitol Hill frustrated. I just think it puts us in bad light. What he's saying can't possibly be true. Cawthorn still has one big name in his corner, Donald Trump. The former president announced Cawthorn will be a special guest at his rally in North Carolina. Rachel Scott, ABC News, Capitol Hill. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the... Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And that does it for this Saturday evening edition of the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Have a great rest of your Saturday evening. Good night and goodbye, everyone.